What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Punk Rock Radar. Dylan and I are here today to talk about the best punk rock albums of May 2023. We each picked three, four, five albums. So we're going to uh, bestow this information upon you. Uh, before we get started, new shirts are in the uh, Punk Rock Radar MTV style logo and get them on punkrockradar.com support the channel super fun to do uh but dylan how you doing today how, how did you think may held up after a pretty strong uh april month i'll be honest man uh we talked about this uh one of the least uh exciting months of the year i would say i don't want to say most disappointing i'll i'll frame it in a more positive light just not a lot going on, really. It seemed like everyone kind of settled down a little bit. See, I I think that was the case for the majority of the month. And then not this past Friday, the Friday before. I think that's where at least three of my picks are from. So including this one here. So we'll, we'll kick it off here. The first record, I think this was on both of our lists. This is P.O. Box. The album is called Space Available. They are a ska punk band from France. And Dylan, to this point, this is the ska, ska punk album of the year for me. And it's it's not even really close. I think even if you go all the way back through 2022, this will be my favorite ska punk album. So this is a, a surefire contender for my album of the year list. Um, I want to get your comparisons because I, I, I've been trying to think of some and I'm coming up with like, so long and thanks for all the shoes meets the flatliners meets joystick and i haven't settled on a good comparison but what do you think about this record and what kind of uh sound influences do you hear on this i think it's awesome um this is my my maiden voyage into p.o box uh and they got a fan so uh the first song uh oro boros i think i'm pronouncing that right has a bit of a like a rancid kind of feel. Yeah. And then some of the other songs remind me more of like uh Less Than Jake style ska where it's like the ska verse with the anthemic punk rock chorus. Um but yeah, the the whole album straight through beginning to end is awesome. Um so definitely a contender for the end of year list. Yeah. And uh I don't know if I can reveal this yet, but uh, you might be able to pre-order or buy this record from the Punk Rock Radar store in the near future. Yes. When you're picking up that shirt. We are. I, t I had a Zoom call with these guys last weekend. Um, I am going to have this this vinyl in the web store eventually. We're working on the logistics of it. Like I said, they're currently in France, but just super cool guys. We're going to have them on the show in a couple weeks to talk about the album, see what they say their influences are. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you like ska, ska punk, anything like that, 90s, like you will love this album. Uh, I think my favorite song, Can't Bear This Party, it's funny, they came up when I was in the, when I was doing the iPod unearthing. They're, they're, they're like a Chunk No Captain Chunk style band from France, but I, I really like April 13th, and Dear Ed, I think, is one of the singles. But yeah, this whole album is awesome. It's it's going to be on my year end list. That's why I'm trying to procure some records so other people can hear this. But definitely um, go check this out. P.O. Box, space available. Uh, Dylan, what is what is your album number two going to be? All right, we got a rare American band uh, on these videos. Red Atlanta, who is not from Georgia. They're from Louisiana is a neighboring state of Georgia, isn't it? Or is that Alabama? That's Alabama. Isn't yeah, it? I think Louisiana is next to Texas, unless I'm okay. wrong. I, I don't I didn't pay good enough attention <laughs> in geography class. Uh, Red Atlanta, though. Yeah. Um, they uh they remind me a bit of Poli. I know you yep. said you don't agree with that comparison I do agree. very much. I, I didn't agree at first, but you, the Especially more I listened the, to it, I, the, the more I was hearing the guitars. Album. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, it's like uh, 90s meets early 2000s um, melodic punk. Uh, it's like 50-50. Uh, it definitely has the pacing of the more old school side of that equation. Um, but yeah, these guys are awesome. Uh, I heard a few of the singles like late last year, and I went back and checked out uh, the album two albums before this unsettled and that one was also good but this one i think is a step forward in terms of uh production and songwriting um so yeah definitely uh a great record i don't know if it'll be a top 10 for me but maybe an honorable mention um so a solid effort from louisiana's red atlanta yeah and i gotta give credit to dylan he kept telling me to go listen listen more and the the vibe I get, Dylan, is like strung out and pulley meets like Mutant League records, kind of like that newer pop punk sound. I hear a lot of that on this, but I, I really liked it. My favorite song in here was the cycle um, on the back end. But yeah, good pick. Getting up, getting dressed. It's never been so hard for you, so depressed. So. I'll get in Dylan. The rest of my list is very rock heavy, um, which is kind of what we got this month. And I'm an alternative rock fan. I'm a hard rock fan. So my first pick here is going to be decent criminal. The album is there's more to it uh, than climbing. And if you guys are like me, some of the nineties kids out there, you grew up with, you know, alternative rock radio. You're going to feel right at home with this album. Dylan, do you, do you remember, you might be too young, but there was this, there were like commercials back in the day for these rock comps. And there's one called buzz cuts. I think it was the commercial was on all the time. Do you remember that at all? I don't believe so. When, uh, the kind of commercials that played on like MTV and stuff when I was growing up were like the, the commercials for ringtones for oh, like rap no. songs. Yeah. So like, Especially late at night, there'd be like those infomercials for like compilation rock albums. They'd play like a, a second or two of the songs. Uh, but anyway, without getting any further off track, this album like would fit in on like any buzz cuts or 90s rock compilation. The second, the second song and the third song, Driving and Soothe, are probably both in my top 10 songs of the year so far. They're just windows down rock songs you know driving i guess it implies it in the name but soothe also but yeah i i really enjoy this album there's some slower songs that i i couldn't really find myself to get into but overall i think it's a really good album and they have an ep i think it was called dc that came out a few years back that was also very good uh, i know um isaac from powered by rock is always pumping these guys there's a, they're getting some real traction on the interwebs uh, Dylan, have you heard this one at all, or do you want to move on to your next one? I've been hearing a lot about Decent Criminal. I didn't know they had a an album out, though. Uh, they did, like, a split with somebody. I can't remember oh, who exactly. Yeah, Direct Hit. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so definitely a, a punk-adjacent band, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, they have ties to some of the more popular bands in the modern scene. But uh, no, I haven't checked it out at all. Uh, I'll give it a shot, though. They deserve a fair shake. But let's move on uh, to my my next pick for the month of May is going to be uh, from East Bay, the East Bay, the Bond Stones, uh, not to be confused with the Boss Tones, um, and they're new album east bay elegy in case you weren't aware that where they're from they let you know in the album title um yeah so they're from the home of lookout records uh and they definitely have that east bay pop punk kind of sound uh ramones core if you will um and i think this is a real fun album uh my favorite songs on here is probably mohawk dog um, but I also really like, I almost saw the Ramones. You gotta, you know, it's a, what kind of music you're in for when they name drop the Ramones and when the, and the song title. Yeah. 
I think I, I feel like I posted this one on a new music Friday, but I haven't, I got to give it a fair shake too. I don't think I listened to the full thing yet, but, um, I've got this song on my playlist. We'll check it out a little more after we are done here. I'll move us along, Dylan. Uh, one of my favorite newer bands, new, bands of the last uh, decade or so, the Dirty Nil, is back. They had one of my top albums of 2021. I think it was either 1B or number two was Fuck Art. Uh, two years later, here we go. We got Free Reign to Passions. So I'm putting this here, and it's without a doubt one of my favorites of the year, but I I won't lie and say that I like it more than fuck art. I think fuck art had a more pop punk punk rock feel to it. And a lot of what the dirty nil did prior to that was more attuned to this kind of seventies influence rock. You could hear a lot of like ACDC on there, some twangy guitars mixed in on the background. Um, but it's still the Dirty Nil. They're still an incredible band. I think Celebration is going to be in my top five Dirty Nil songs. Uh, that song in particular reminds me a lot of Stone Temple Pilots, the way the uh, the chorus is. Huge fan of that song. I really like the other single too, Blowing Things Up in the Woods. Um, but yeah, it's it's the Dirty Nil. I like it. It's It's very similar to Master Volume. I know a lot of people really like that record. Uh, but Dylan, have you heard this one yet? Yeah, uh, I listened to it. This is the first time I've listened to the Dirty Nil since uh, they released a 7-inch on Fat Records like 10 years ago, Damn. I think. Yeah. Uh, guided by Vices, I think it was called. Um, Cinnamon, I think, yeah. I know what you're talking yeah. about, though. Yeah, so I like it. My whole thing is, like... I like listening to the fast stuff. And when I listen to slower music, like I feel like I'll still like it, but it just doesn't have that same energy for me. Um, but yeah, this is a fun album. Uh, my favorite song is atomize me. There's a, uh, I hear like those more hard rock, almost like a little like motor head ish, yeah, but that's, like slower that's a good comp. Um, yeah, it's like Motorhead mixed with like Weezer almost. Like uh, mm -hmm. there's a few songs that remind me a lot of Weezer on here. Um, but definitely a fun album and a, a worthwhile listen. Um, next up, uh, let's uh, move on to my last pick here is going to be the bull weevils from Chicago, Illinois with a silent S. Um, yeah, I never, uh, was like, I was aware of the bull weevils, but I never really listened to them. Um, so this is my first time, like listening to an album of theirs. Uh, and I think it's good. Um, my favorite song on here is probably the, uh, the, the, wow. I can't talk the, uh, album opener. Just because it starts with that, like, no, uh, not the opener, but a uh, Gout's Gulch um, is interesting. It starts with that, like, acoustic intro thing, and then it just, like, rips into this, like, you know, like, full fucking throttle. I think that should have been the opening track almost. Um, but yeah, it's a fun album, and uh, Daryl has a really unique voice. Kind of reminds me a little bit of. Uh, and he's been around longer than uh, the comparison. I'm going to make a Chuck from a uh, poor habit a little bit. And like Dexter Holland, yeah. that like higher pitched, like tenor uh, voice. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a really fun album and um, I'll have to go back and listen to their older stuff. Um, cause they do have somewhat of a, a legacy here that I'm dove into all the way. Yeah. So my favorite song in this one is the actually the closer liniment and tonic, but I, the bull yeah, weevils good. are like a weird band for me. I remember, um, this was like maybe 1999 or 2000. I was in ocean city, Maryland. We used to vacation there and there was like this punk rock CD store 
And I was in there and I was just looking for something I could have for the drive home. And the guy behind the counter, he gave me the bull weevils. And it, I think there was like 30 songs. It was like a, a, a compilation with a blue cover. And I was pretty into it. But then I, I forgot about these guys for like 20 years. And yeah, I'm pretty into this too. I think it's a solid, I think it's probably their, their best album. Uh, but yeah, if you guys don't know the Bull Weevils, go check them out. Uh, legendary Chicago band. So Dylan, I'm heading back to my hard rock stuff. It's it's just been that kind of month for me. And another extremely popular band, 179,000 monthly listeners. I usually kind of stay away from, uh, I'm not mainstream, but you know, super popular. But uh, this band has been recommended to me countless times. People will see me post stuff that's kind of rock adjacent. They'll be like, dude, Heart Attack Man, Heart Attack Man. Uh, I think Fake Blood is the one that constantly gets thrown to me. And I liked it. I liked Thoughts and Prayers. I, I liked, I think, I think the album's Fake Blood. But this one is the first one that I'm really connecting with. Like, I'm listening to this constantly. It's only a week old. I have, like, most of the lyrics memorized already. Um, it's definitely newer style pop punk, which I don't typically go for. I am somebody who is stuck in the 90s. I'm stuck in the early 2000s. There's not a lot of newer bands that pop up that really uh, catch my ear if they're playing like, you know, the slower new pop punk. Like there's a lot on here where it's like spoken word verses and like, you know, newer production tricks. But I'm finding myself humming along, getting them stuck in my head. Uh, Freak of Nature, the single, the video is a little disturbing, but the song is great. Uh, God Called Off Today is a, a ballad song, but I, I really like it. C4, Clown School. The only song I've been skipping is Late to the Orgy, and I think the lyrics are kind of funny. But overall, just a really fun, really good rock album. It's perfect for the summer. Dylan, I, I have a feeling this is not your cup of tea, but have you given this any uh, any listens yet? I have not. Uh, I I actually had never heard of this band before, so I'm very surprised to see that uh, the 200,000 monthly listeners. Yeah, uh, dude, they're they are big. I I think they're from Ohio, but they got a good street team, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I heard it's like a snippet of a song. It definitely sounded like that, like the story so far, kind of pop punk. Um, which I'm just, I'm really not into, so. Dude, I, I'm not really that into it either. It, like, I can kind of, your story so far isn't terrible, but it it mixes in some, like, you know, stuff I like, like Dinosaur Pile Up and stuff, where it's, like, kind of rocky, and, it's quite, like, the guitars come in, they're really well produced. It's worth a shot. Start if, I think Freak of Nature is, like, the closest thing you're going to get to a punk rock is, song. Is that a, a Ramones cover, Freak of Nature? <laughs> no, and it's not even close. But, yeah. Um, Animal Boy. I liked it enough. I was I was on the couch with my headphones on listening to it. I got the, the splatter vinyl. Uh, it's, it, it's sneaking its way higher and higher, dude, in, onto my list. I've been hearing about it. I don't know if it's the hype or what, but I, I really like this album. Back home somewhere. I've got a few honorable mentions, man. I want to just throw out there uh, just to hit quickly. Another newer pop punk band. I'm trying, I'm trying new things here and there. We've got, I think it's pronounced Wester till the wheels fall off. Um, I like when this band does straightforward pop punk. There's a lot of like stuff I don't really care for. Uh, that's present in newer stuff, like, you know, the auto-tune and the dancey stuff and blah, blah, blah. When these guys play straightforward pop punk, I think they they do it pretty well. Uh, Three Days Sober is a good song. Uh, Jabo. There's there's another one on here because I was high. I think it might be Three Days Sober. But anyway, the Wester is a good record. And then my last one, I've got to spend more time with this one because I'm, I'm really liking it. Uh, Fire Ants from Uranus. This is, uh, I think they're from Germany. This is 
very epitaph fat style uh punk rock band the title track so far is my favorite i have a post fired up for it for monday when this goes live uh if you're looking for a fast album skate punk go check this out at pizza supernova by fire ants from uranus uh dylan anything else you want to shout out before we get into the eps yes honorable mention uh something that came out the last week of april that i missed out on until the first week of this past month a uh, vertical drop from Italy. Uh, this month, kind of May was kind of lacking when it came to new skate punk. After those first few months of the year were so strong for the genre, um, so definitely worth mentioning these guys. Uh, they called this an album, but uh, again, I'm a stickler about track list lengths. It's an EP in my uh, opinion, yeah. which is fact. Um, but yeah, this is a great uh, skate punk album EP uh, and one you should check out in case you miss out on uh, it like I did. Yeah, that see, that happens to me on when bands add their album on the website. Some of them love albums with two songs and they call it an EP. Like I move that straight to single. And I think... In my opinion, anyway, EP is less than 10 songs. I go EP. Yeah, That's anything more than three and less than 10. Yeah. <laughs> so three to nine songs is an EP. I agree. All right. So Dylan is going to walk us through here just a couple EPs and then some singles. What do we got up first? All right. Yeah, just uh, two EPs this month, unless you have anything to add. Uh, one we talked about for the first few months of the year, Jughead's Revenge, uh, Vultures. This was a very highly anticipated release uh, with the two singles they released, uh, I'll Be Seeing You in Bridges. Um, and now we have the full EP, which is uh, their first release other than like a single they did uh, in like 20 plus years. Mm -hmm. Um so uh, the last record was Pearly Gates. Um, I think this is even better than that, honestly. Um, my favorite song is the one we're going to play, Isolation Time. So check this out. Hopefully we get a full album uh, from these guys in the near future. Yeah, I, I would go with Bridges here on this one. I, I like this too. Do they, do they have enough albums for us to do a tier list? I don't think so. Let's see. They got like six. I really like Pearly Gates, man. Um, maybe, maybe you can make it happen. I like these guys. They interact with us on social media, so that's always appreciated. Alright, so what is your what is your last EP? Uh Fast Food Society. Uh from Spain? Yes, yeah, Spain. Um, their new EP. Again, they called it an album, but it's seven songs. Uh, Ides of Mars. Um, yeah, this is interesting. Uh, it reminds some of the songs remind me a lot of RKL, uh, which at, as the transitive property, it also reminds me a little bit of early uh, lag wagon, but the vocals lean more towards RKL. Um, favorite songs on this one are Conspiranoid and Copaganda. Those are the two that remind me the most of RKL. But yeah, just that real like riffy, like, you know, balls to the wall, like melodic hardcore. And then moving on to the singles here. Um, we got, uh, I think, no, I picked this one. Uh, I don't think John picked any singles, uh, honestly, unless <laughs> I did. I'm I, missing dude, something. I'm so, there's so many singles every week. There's yeah, like there, 50 or 60. Was, if I'm looking at like 300 songs, there's no way I'm going to come up with them. So I, I, these are yeah. Dylan's picks for singles. He is a lot more patient than I am. There was, there was a lot this month. Like there was. 10 singles for every yeah. <laughs> for every album. 
Uh, so, all right, I'll run through them pretty quick, or try to. Uh, Jerks, uh, their new single, Tail Lights. I don't know where these guys are from, so don't ask me. You can check Spotify if you want to. They have a lot of European listeners, though. Uh, so I would assume they're from somewhere in the European Union. Uh, then we got uh, Spring Heel Jack. Uh, their new something single. It's actually a cover of a Bim Scala Bim song. Uh, Digging a hole. I guess it's for a compilate, like a tribute compilate compilation for that band. Um, but it's good. It's uh, first new Spring Heel Jack music in like forever. Um, this is a an old school ska band that Jr. from Less Than Jake used to play in. Uh, then we got the Upshot, who uh, I guess you could say this is John's lone pick for a single this month because uh, <laughs> it's something that uh, it's off. Uh, was it an EP or an album they're doing that you're participating it's, in the release of? It's TBD or it's uh, a secret what it is. OK, but well, it's this, a is a, this is a real good song. Uh, it <laughs> reminds me a little bit of no effects. Um. But they're uh, they're British, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, a really good song though. We did the premiere on Dying Scene, um, so check that out. It's also on Spotify now, obviously. Uh, and then we got from Canada, gotta always have a Canadian skate punk band on these things. Kingfisher, uh, with their new single "Cost of Comfort." These guys are cranking out singles. Yes. Uh, and hey, listen, Kingfisher, if you're watching, man. You got to like do something to change up the album art on these things cuz it's getting a little confusing. I can't keep track of what's what. Um but yeah, great melodic skate punk uh <laughs> band from Canada. Uh I think this is one of their better singles they've released so far. They keep getting better. Uh then we got Spoilers uh with their new single Peaches and Cream. Uh, I would assume this is off an upcoming album. It's uh, Spotify says it's on on Spam Records. So if that's to be believed, I would assume they have an album in the pipeline. I'll have to check. Uh, but yeah, great melodic punk song. A uh, great like summer vibe. Uh, then we got Free Will with their song As We Sleep. I uh, never heard of these guys before, but apparently they've been around for a while. Kind of, uh, they cite influences like Dag Nasty uh, in their Spotify bio. Uh, I think they're from the East Bay, but uh, definitely Dag Nasty-ish feel. Fun song. Uh, last two here, real quick. We got Adelaida, A D E L L E D A. I think that's how you pronounce that. This one was last. I thought this was. I had this on my list yesterday. Okay. Back check me on the release date. Oh, May 29th. Yeah, you're good. Okay, we're good. Um, the best, I don't know if it's pronounced offense or offense, uh, is a good defense. Um, yeah, skate punk band been around for a while. Uh, I think this is the first song or anything they've released in a bit. Uh, but I definitely remember these guys from like the early 2010s being a uh, part of that melodic punk style skate punkers scene um so great song uh and last but not least we got clear fight with their song shape up uh and this one is i think they've been doing uh yeah they've been doing a, a string of singles over the last few months so actually they haven't released an album yet so they've been doing all singles uh, for the last year. So I would assume these guys have an album coming soon. Um, but this is a real fun song too. And it's, uh, it's kind of atypical for a pick from me. Cause it is more that, uh, I would say it's like early two thousands pop punk meets like comeback kid almost. Um, mm. I don't Have you heard this? Apparently, I have. I, I don't remember listening to it. But I would definitely listen to it again. I think you would like this based on the kind of shit you listen to. <laughs> I'll check it out. I saw I'm following them, so I, I must have listened at some point. But like we said, I think two weeks ago, I had 
80 singles on the yeah. list. So for me, it's Friday morning. I'll listen to like 30 seconds, move on, 30 seconds, move on. And I, I'll write down any that kind of catch my ear, but that's, that's, there's too many singles. I, I'm an album guy, but, yeah. but yeah, that's, I was going through the playlist the last week or so and uh, trying to see what caught my ear. Yeah. And when something did, I would click on it to like the view album. And I was always disappointed when it was just a single and not an album that it was attached to. Cause I wanted to hear more from the bands, but it'd be like, okay, this is their first single in three years or something, yeah. you know, like, Don't hold shit, man, I want to hear an album of what you guys sound like right now. But it's it. It was my help for three years of my life. Only times a week to be a band and get out on the road. And it soon became a haven for my friends to run away. And I can't take another minute more and fill in the podcast. Driving fast, swimming 64, I'm burning daylight. Airplanes, mills, round skies. Yeah, I the single that's the that's the state of the music industry, man. It's very single heavy. I'm not a big fan, but it is what it is. So, Dylan, any anything else you want to shout out? This is a little bit longer than we usually run, which is funny because we thought this was gonna be a short episode. I think I took I talked about the singles too long. No, you're good. Um, yeah, June's off to a good start. So some foreshadowing. We got the Rancid album surprisingly uh, good that rancid album yeah i actually haven't listened to it yet i've only listened to the first single um but we got that and then uh i think there's some other stuff that i can't really really name off the top of my head uh they there's that the minus hero album that um punk rock radar co-released with uh cat's claw and white russian records uh, I need to check that out still. It's an EP, actually. Sorry, forgive me for that. Uh, and then, and then, uh, don't sleep, which is uh, oh, the Dave don't sleep is good, man. I I'm enjoying that. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't listened to that either. I gotta catch up on this stuff. But uh, yeah, that's uh, uh, is it just Dave Smalley or uh, more guys from uh, from uh, Down by Law? I know it's at least Dave Smalley that's in this band. That I'm um, not sure, but this this is another one. The sneak peek. This this yeah, Down that, album. Yeah, that too. Uh, that too. I should have had a single on there on here from there. Yeah, this is this um, album is really good so far. I've I've yeah. only made it to. So when I listen to something an album for the first time, I I have to have it on my headphones only, and I need to listen to the full thing. I made it to track six, and I had to I had to do something, so I got to start it over again. But it it was really really good. So yeah. That, oh yeah, we'll we'll circle back to this at the the end of this month. But yeah, yeah. this is another one. Uh, I kind of wanted to mention things like this in the Rancid album and stuff, and include them as singles. But I it felt kind of silly to do that because they came out the first day of the month or whatever yeah. of June. So I mean, kind of didn't make. They, they came sense out. To, we're guys. We're recording this on Saturday the third, so we've only had these for a day. At, at the most, but they'll be the, I can, I can guarantee rancid and uh downstater will be on next, next month's list and don't sleep and don't sleep. Of course. Yeah. So that, yeah. That's, but yeah, June's uh June's starting off good. Yeah. That's, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Like I said, punk rock radar.com, pick up a t-shirt, pick up some vinyl, lots of stuff filling up my closet. Uh, so please grab something. I'll be very thankful. I'll throw in more stickers than you know what to do with. Uh, Dylan, anything cool going on at Dying Scene? I saw Karina ha ha was like concert crazy over there. What else is going on? Yeah, Jason, you need to hook me up with the guest list, man. Come on. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, uh, we'll have the <laughs> the uh, I got to type it. So I'm going to spend the next day or two typing all this stuff. But uh, 
the uh, the written version of my picks for the month of May. Uh, we'll have that linked in the video description, uh, and there will be all the Bandcamp players and the links to where you can buy the vinyl and all that stuff uh, for any of these releases that that's the case for. Um, so check that out. Check out the record radar uh, that I do most weeks. I do the video <laughs> for it too on here. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody.